Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a brochure, a three panel or bifold brochure in Illustrator. Uh, all we're going to do is to use the pen tool uh, to draw straight lines and we're going to use the text tool or the type tool as well. Um, I'm going to go to File, New. Um, it's an 8.5 by, by 11 document. Uh, let's stay with landscape orientation. Uh, I'm going to create two artboards. I don't want to be worried about the bleeds at the moment, so I'm just going to go zero for the bleeds. When I'm done, I can just stretch the uh, bleeds to the bleed lines. Uh, there you go. So I have two artboards. Um, I have provided you with this um, file so you can just place it here to look at it and recreate it here on the second artboard. And the first thing we got to do is to do some calculations here. Uh, obviously we need to put some guidelines and um, divide this to three columns. One thing um, that we need to be careful with is this calculation should be exact and accurate because this is going to be folded and uh, we cannot just um, guesstimate it. So uh, the width of this brochure is 11 inches. So what I'm going to do is to bring the calculator up. I'm going to put 11 divided by 3 so it's going to be 3.6666 so it's going to go on and on all right not a problem I can create a shape here so that is exactly the same size I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool click here the width I'm going to put 3.6666 height is going to be eight and a half inches because it's a letter size document there you go I can press I for eyedropper and sample this one and that's my right left side panel I need exactly the same panel for the right side panel so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here copy and paste it with control C and control V if you have a Mac computer that would be command C command V alright so uh, we manage this um, separation with creating the background um, shapes so it's a great idea to lock these guys because otherwise we keep moving them around by mistake I'm gonna click this one to select it go to the layers panel expand okay this is the rectangle. I'm going to change the name of it, call it left panel so I don't forget and I'm going to lock it. This one let's change the name to right panel and lock. Okay so we cannot move these elements anymore. Alright I do need to start drawing these shapes now. So I'm going to pick up the P tool I can start drawing from anywhere but you see I, I'm, I'm already in trouble I, I don't know where to start and I don't know if it's gonna line up properly or not so one great idea is to go to view guides I'm sorry view rulers show rulers and then drag this here to create a guideline while we're at it we might as well create two guidelines for here and here as well so I'm gonna drag those here and here okay we need to lock our guides so I'm gonna go right click anywhere in the page and go lock guides so they don't move anymore I am gonna press P for pen make sure the pen tool is in effect and I would like to start drawing oh how about this why not we draw another guideline here and one more here okay let's be as accurate as possible okay so we're gonna click click 
now that we have guidelines it should be much easier and it's right in the center this one and close the path I'm gonna press I for eyedropper sample it okay that's done uh, for the white one as well you can draw some guidelines there you go so I'm looking here and draw my guidelines to line up with this I'm gonna click on the P tool All right, that's um, that should be white color. I'm going to press I and sample this one. There you go. It's looking good already. Let's switch back to the pen tool. I press the P button. Okay, let's do this one first. So I see my guidelines are not going to work with this one. So what we, what we can do is to unlock the guides and remove them and draw a new set of guidelines you don't want to have too many of them so right click here unlock guides I'm gonna select all of them here and press delete there you go let's zoom in a little bit so we would like to draw this red sh shape alright we're gonna do some guidelines this one is for here one here for this edge another one here so we can draw as many as we need there you go I'm all set switching back to the P tool I'm gonna go here right to the center click click again right here to the center click 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 and I'm done. I for eyedropper. Sample the red color. We're good. I'm going to switch back to the P tool. Click, 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 and click. I for eyedropper. Switch back to the P tool. And now we're going to do the last one. So one two three and four and we are done with the shapes how nice is that again I'm going to delete these guidelines we don't need them anymore so we're done with all that we would like to have the text to be inserted now um, it's a great idea to go lock this layer overall so we don't touch any of these layers by mistake and don't remove them uh, I'm going to change the name of this to shapes then create a new layer call it text so all the text is going to be placed here now alright let's take a look and see what we got we have a text box here on the first panel again we might need some guidelines so why not just pick this one up alright so that's just good enough um, or maybe I need a vertical one as well so I'm gonna drag one here to see what we get we have quarter of an inch so I gotta do the same thing here so quarter of an inch and that's that we need to lock the guides now we need to pick up the T tool press T for type click and drag and you place some random text in here the text should be in white color so while this is R this is all selected I'm gonna go to the options bar and choose white color um, this is all random text of course you will get the text from your client and then you can replace it but what you can do to modify it a little bit better I can just highlight the first line go to the character panel and make it bold and increase the font size okay let's switch back to the hand tool to 
move it a little bit okay now you see it looks very similar to what we have here there's a little bit of adjustment we need to do well this one is all caps and also I see there's a little bit more spacing here alright no problem this would be a good practice uh, of formatting text so I'm going to highlight this one go to character panel click on all caps and then I'm gonna go to the paragraph panel what we need here is space after so I'm just gonna create two points more spacing after that heading and we're all set now it's just perfect okay we're doing very well all we need to do now is to start working on the second panel and insert some text here we can start with one um, text block so again I'm going to draw some guidelines so that's for that the vertical one and this one here I need one more guideline for the bottom there you go press T for type click and drag okay uh, that's the text I'm just gonna go back here and reset it so go to the characters panel go here and then reset so it brings it back to um, normal font size I need more text so I'm gonna copy and paste it all right okay so uh, for the heading uh, we have the word lorem ipsum to be the heading again I'm, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better uh, don't worry about all these elements here this is just uh, random text if you're not happy with any of this you can just replace it with any text you want okay so we're going to we're going to highlight this one and make it red character panel make it all caps increase the font size I'm gonna go for 14 and then I would like to copy and paste this here so we need to have two of these but again guidelines would be super helpful I do not need, need these guidelines that I already have anymore so I'm going to unlock them get rid of these and draw some new ones one for this and one for this back to the design artboard copy and paste and one more time okay there you have it so we're done with two panels already all we are left with is the third panel we do we see that we have company name a little logo here and some text so again uh, we're gonna do some guidelines I see the company name is lined up beautifully here all I need to do is to pick up the T tool click here and type company press enter go to the next line name all right I need to make this to align center so let's highlight it and click here on the options bar for align center we will make it white and increase the font size let's make it 20 and make it bold I'm using myriad pro font we can drag it here with the selection tool and it lines up itself automatically for us uh, the logo here is basically a circle and a dot so that's not a big deal we're going to pick up the ellipse tool draw a circle here line it up Um, we don't need a fill get rid of it stroke white and we're gonna increase it to perhaps 8 pixels and we will need another 
circle here so one more circle this one does need a fill so I'm gonna add white fill to it and no stroke or five point stroke why not okay so we're happy with that if you want to reduce the stroke to make it more okay I'm just gonna make it zero it actually looks way better now there you go all we need to do here is to insert some text a paragraph so we're gonna pick up the T tool click and drag We've got some paragraphs um, we have to reset it so let's go to character menu reset panel so it's back to normal font size um, again you can copy some of this text and paste it here as a placeholder text I'm going to highlight it and make it white and there you have it we can make our guides invisible I'm gonna right click here hide guides and that's what we have by far there are minor adjustments we need to do for instance this is too big I can make it smaller and this dot needs to go up a little bit yeah and um, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching